Hey guys, so just today I uh, received my order from uh, Power Team Lures. This was uh, for their uh, Black Friday sale. They had a pretty good sale um, and I'm going to be unboxing what I got. I didn't get too much, about a uh, hundred, a bit over a hundred dollars worth and um, I haven't ordered from them before but I've seen their stuff and I've uh, really liked how it looked so I uh, wanted to give them a try and um, you know, I made an order. So they had a pretty good deal. It was uh, forty bucks off, or forty percent off all their soft plastics, um, twenty percent off their terminal tackle, and um, I believe well, and twenty percent off their jigs, I believe. And um, I uh, did buy some clearance uh, baits too that were a lot cheaper. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So. First, they gave us or gave me ten dollars off my next purchase, uh, min minimum purchase of twenty dollars. You could see there, and a really nice Power Team lure sticker. I might put this on my boat. Um, there you go. And uh, the order summary. So I ordered one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 total uh, things I ordered, an uh, assortment of things. So, start off with um, the jig heads. Um, I bought two packs of their FCT jig heads. These are for their food chain tubes. And uh, I got them in 3 16 and a uh, quarter ounce. You can see here. These look really nice. Um, this is my first time seeing all this stuff, so this is mostly just first impressions. I'll uh, probably make a new video in the summer actually reviewing these guys, but these look really nice. The The hooks are definitely sharp and look very sturdy. Um, just regular lead uh, jig heads. These are supposed to fit perfectly in the food chain tombs. Slide them in and then pop the eye out. And uh, yeah, pretty excited to use these with the tubes. These are both the sizes. And uh, now to the jigs I bought. Each what I like about uh, Power Team is that they each come or the each uh, jig order comes with two of the same kind. So uh, if you do snap off, get one snagged, you lose one, you've got one backup. So I got one in. They're called the Stone Draggers. It's a football head, and uh, this is half ounce. I got it in the color the natural. So uh comes with a green head and uh, like a green pumpkin sort of skirt, main skirt with a little bit of purple fleck and um, some hints of orange on the back of it. You can see here, here's the head. It's uh, it's this, the hook is a smaller, it's a smaller jig, nice big skirt and uh, the weed guard is pretty bendable. I think I might trim just a bit off. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty nice jig head, or sorry, jig. So that's one. Uh, here I have the uh, bullnose jigs, but uh, I'll go stick with the stone dragger. So this one is another half ounce in the Susky Slayer color. This, uh, again, a green pumpkin-y with a purple fleck kind of uh, skirt. And uh, I really like the back here. This is why I bought it. This It's got a really nice pattern. It's got uh, a chartreuse, an orange, like a more pumpkin color, uh, and a black, and then, again, the chartreuse. And I really like how the colors tie in together. It looks really nice. Um, it's like a natural presentation with a bit of... Uh, Flare. I think this will definitely get some bass's attention, and uh, hopefully I'll catch some fish with it. Again, green head. This one, this uh, weed guard seems a bit stiffer, but uh, I'm sure they're pretty much all the same. And here is their other jig they make. This is the bullnose jig. Uh, this is like a regular um, flipping pitching jig. This I bought it in green pumpkin punch, 
That's the color and uh, a 3 8 ounce. So here it is. Um, this is more of a, a thicker skirt, shorter. Um, and this is, it, it's a regular green pumpkin with a bit of flare. It's got some gold fleck, purple, green fleck in it. And um, in the middle, it's got, uh, it's got some green, some, some lighter green, uh, what's it called, Part, parts of the skirt. And I'm not sure if you guys can see them, but there's little, there's some uh, skirt pieces in there that are a lighter green. This is a, a really natural color, and uh, I think this will definitely get them. And now on to the, uh, the plastics. Start off with food chain tubes. These are what I'm really excited about. I don't fish tubes often, but uh, when I saw these, I uh, I thought these definitely could be great producers on the water, and um, they looked really nice. So I, I bought a couple packs, and uh, I think these will definitely get me fishing tubes more. So here's the uh, I believe it's just a regular green pumpkin. Oh no, it's a Susky Slayer Purple Flake. So it's got the uh, green pumpkin top with like a baby bass ish color watermelon color on the bottom it's got the uh, purple flake it's got some their purple flake is more it's like a reddish flake but you can see it definitely a nice color it's hollow body they've got about maybe half half an inch of uh, solid head so this is good for the hook and uh, the the tail of it is got two like large uh, I don't know if you'd call them fins or wings, or but two of these on each side, and then they have the regular uh, skirt at the bottom. But these look really nice, and I think uh, the bass will really like it. Each uh, pack also comes with a this hog tonic here, which is supposed to be a very strong garlicky smell. Um, you use these when you're actually fishing. You open them up and put them in the bag, and apparently uh, it's supposed to really stink up the baits, which is. Uh, Definitely something I like. I like a smelly bait. And um, these already come with their own scent. Um, it's like a, a very light garlicky scent, but uh, the, ho the hog tonic uh, is supposed to have a lot more garlic to it. And now I got the same ones, 3.5 inch food chain tube. This is in the natural color. And uh, again, it's got the, that smell. And this is a more natural craw color. It's got the uh, soft, the soft hollowness, uh, the small little bit of hard head, and uh, everything's the same like I showed you in the other one. This is definitely a nice color. It's got uh, like a green pumpkin-y color on the top with gold, and uh, then the orange on the bottom. This looks really nice. And now I have my diesel craws. Really excited about these. I think uh, these look really great. They're four inch. Uh, they come with six in a pack. And I didn't mention here, but these come, food chain comes in eight in a pack. Uh, here the diesel cross, six in a pack. This one is watermelon red flake. Come in a really big bag. And uh, these definitely have a lot of, uh, some of their formula. I'm not sure if it's, they're hog tonic, but these are really oily, very stinky too. And um, so these these are a bigger body. They've got these are supposed to be like a jig alternative. If you're uh, if the fish are a little more spooky, having it built in might uh, offer that little bit to uh, get that bite you need. So the skirt is built in just at the top. The Texas rig it. Um, they have the appendages here. They can you can detach them or keep them attached. I think the actions vary. Well, they will vary attached or not attached, but I think both ways will produce. And there's this long piece here that you detach once uh, once you're using it. This is the part you do detach. So as you can see here, you rip it off here and then rip it off the cross, and you get that little piece. And now here's the craw without that part. 
This will definitely uh, be great on the water. And uh, I also got the diesel cross and the ready the green pumpkin. These are probably what I'm going to be using most of the time. The green pumpkin is probably my favorite color. Uh, works very well on the waters here. I'm in Ontario. And uh, so this is the same thing. Got uh, the eyes on the bottom. Ribbed on the bottom here. So this will uh, help cause a little bit of displacement and some vibration. Same with the uh, claw, the claws or the claws have a little bit of a rib to them, maybe to give a little bit of vibration. These uh, what I've noticed about the Power Team claws, they're designed so that instead of making a lot of movement with their hand, uh, with the uh, claws, they more slither in. They uh, they're very subtle, and uh, I think especially for a tough bite, these will work really well. Now I got, um, I think, I believe, yeah, these are called the six sticks. Let me do, double check that for you. Yep, these are the six sticks. They're, they're uh, Senko type baits, they're stick baits. Um, both of these I got in the uh, Pro Packs, which are 25 in a pack. I love using Senkos, um, drop shotting them, wacky rigging them, whatever they they're pretty I'm pretty confident when I'm using them so I decided to uh, get the big packs of them so the, this is the regular green pumpkin color uh, you can see they're very uh, flexible movable which is what I really like in a, a Senko type bait one that moves around a lot causes a lot of uh, action in the water and uh, these ones are different because these are uh, squared off the, instead of a circular, more cylinder type of bait, these are a squarish type of bait. Uh, you guys might not be able to see it here, but um, what that does is that the water can't move around it. It's got to actually move to the side and up, which uh, causes these to move a lot more, a lot of more displacement. And they're ribbed all the way through, a lot of vibration and more displacement. These are really to get the bass's attention, so I got them in the Green Pumpkin Pro Pack and uh, I got the same ones in uh, this is called their Bedtime Dream uh, it's just their white color their strict white I like these especially uh, early season when the fish are still guarding their frying on the beds uh, I find this will really get the, their attention and uh, get them to whack at it as well as you can see it really nicely so if you're sight fishing you really know when the fish takes it so uh, I got these and now for the last set of baits, uh, the finicky ticklers in five inch. These are all five inch. Uh, my personal, I'm a huge fan of drop shotting. Most of my fish come off drop shotting, and um, so I loaded up on theirs. I got four packs, and uh, from the reviews I've heard, these are amazing. Some people say these are the only drop shot baits they use now because they're so good. Um, they're apparently revolutionary where you won't need another drop shot bait after using these so I hope that does hold true and um, these do put a lot of fish in my boat so this is the kitchen sink color it's a uh, it's a green watermelon it's like a green pumpkin watermelon mix with a bunch of different flakes and uh, I really like this color this is probably my favorite color that they offer um, so here you can see uh, it's definitely flexible, movable. It's got a whippy tail, but uh, about two inches of their two and a half, maybe inches of a harder body. It's uh, you can see the colors here. Let me try to get that to focus. And um, yeah, these look really good. They got lots of different types of flake in it. There's a uh, green, purple. Uh, it looks like a pink, and uh, they have the standard black in there. And yeah, this looks really awesome. Uh, again, these are very oily. Uh, they've got some type of scent to them. I don't know if it's their hot tonic, but something. Um, here I got the watermelon red, another color I like to use. And uh, this package doesn't seem to want to open. 
but yeah, you can see watermelon red, standard watermelon red color. Impregnated. Oh, this is the their flavor. This is their sao chow. This is their this is what they use. Their very oily uh, scent. It's called sao chow. A special blend of scents and salt. They bite, they lock on, and you land hogs. So let's hope that's true. Uh, here I got the uh, baby bass color. I love baby bass. Um, it's a really cool looking color, and uh, definitely it works in my area in my experience. Uh, you have the the white silvery on the bottom and the, the clear green on the top uh, with that with a little bit of black flake on it. It looks really nice. Um, it looks great in the water and uh, not really mimics any bait fish, but uh, let's hope it it'll mimic some baby bass that another bass would like to eat. But uh, whatever it does imitate, uh, the fish do like it if it does imitate anything. And uh, here, this color was um, on clearance, so I decided to pick it up as well. I don't really use uh, this col colors like this too often, but uh, for I think it was like a dollar fifty, you can't go wrong. Um, 12, p 12 uh, ticklers in uh, every pack. So this is the pumpkin seed color. This is another one that doesn't want to open, but it's, uh, it's like a reddish brown color with black flake. Uh, I don't know if I'll be using this too often, but uh, if, if the natural colors, the, the greens aren't working, I can always go to this as a backup and I'm, I'm sure it'll work. So uh, yeah, that was my total order. I got the uh, my five inch finicky ticklers, uh, 12 in a pack. These look awesome and I'm really excited to use these. I got my six sticks uh, in my bedtime dream and my green pumpkin, 25 pack. Those are the pro packs. I got my two packs of four inch diesel cross, six in a pack. Here, these look great. Um, my food chain tubes, which I'm super excited about, uh, eight in the pack, you got the 3.5 inches, they have the 4.5 inches as well, but I got these, and, uh, my jigs, I got the stone dragger in, um, I believe it was, uh, it's covered up right now, but a half ounce, so my half ounce stone dragger in the natural color, I'm going to pair that with, uh, my natural colored uh, cross and um, here's my other stone dragger in Susky Slayer, another half ounce. My bullnose jig in Green Pumpkin Punch, 3 8 ounce. The two FCT jig heads which are going to work great with uh, my food chain tubes and actually just for demonstration we'll uh, try them out, see how they fit. So I'm going to be putting on the 3 16 ounce. On the natural colored tube. So open it up. Slide it through, slide through really easily. And now you could, once you're at the top, feel uh, it coming through, just push it through, and there it goes, and it's very subtle too, which is good, didn't line it up properly, just kind of balled it in, just to show you guys how it works, but yeah, very subtle uh, look on it, and uh, yeah, these definitely fit great, they look great, and um, I definitely can't wait to use these, so that's that. And uh, that's the order. Got my jig heads here. The FCT stands for food chain tubes. And FCT jig heads. And then the sticker. My gift card. And my order. Made a little uh, happy face on it. You've been saved. Gotta hide my uh, information, but. Yeah, that's it, guys. Um, definitely can't wait to uh, be using this. And uh, stay tuned for the reviews in the summertime. It's winter right now, so I'm stocking up. Uh, you'll be seeing more unboxings. I got a few more orders coming in. Can't wait to see those. And uh, you'll see some fish hounds. I'm signed up for them, so 
you'll see some of their uh, monthly box unboxings. But for now, that's it. See you guys.